Hey everybody, it's Tina with TSR Creations. So today I'm gonna do a video showing you how I um, mount my alcohol inks to uh, a cradle wood board. I actually started already to put a little um, of my Mod Podge down. So this is a 12 by 12 cradled wood board and I'll um, put the link to where I got it. It's birch wood, I think. Um, so basically I, it, it's, I, I made sure that it was exactly the same size and it, sometimes they're not. So you have to, would have to trim the sides of your paper. This paper was given two really good coats of the archival UV protectant. Where is it? Oh my gosh. It's somewhere, it might be still outside because I take it outside. Oh, it's over there. It's a, a Krylon brand. I'll show you right here. Um, Krylon UV Archival uh, Matte Finish. So I gave it two really good coats of that. Um, and then I let it sit for a few days. So now I am going to apply my Mod Podge to my board. And I'm just using the regular old Mod Podge, and I'm put it. I put it into a little container with a brush, and this brush is just this little silicone crappy brush. So I'm just going to spread this on a nice clear or a nice uh, thin coat, and um, then I'll apply. I'll um, show you what I'm going to do. Make sure you don't get it on the sides, which I'm kind of doing now. So just, you know, go back and forth, get a nice coat. And then after you glue this paper onto the board, I will probably um, put it face down on a very, you know, padded surface and put like something heavy on it just to get a good seal. So that's kind of basically it is. And then after it's mounted, um, after a day or so, I will apply a top coat of resin to the piece. And that just makes it really, really pop all the colors. So this um, alcohol ink, I um, have a video showing you how I made that. Um, if you're interested to go back and look at that. It's called the Wispy, Wispy Alcohol Ink Tutorial. I'll link it to this video for you. I don't know, it's just something if you wanna step away from pouring and try your alcohol inks. I love the alcohol inks. I think they're, they make such great, um, get such great effects with them. All right, so when I make sure I have a nice, good coat on here, I'm gonna go, go this way now, I'm gonna go up. You could do this with a sponge brush too. I don't see why not, I just have this one hand. Can you already feel it's getting tacky? I'll just clean your sides up. Now, when I resin this, I will tape the sides. I should have just taped the sides now. It would have been much easier to apply this, but it doesn't matter. I'll tape the sides and um, it, I won't be resining the sides, just the top, just the top of the painting. Actually have another one over here that I'm going to do. Um, 
have a little round. Oops. <laughs> I have a little round and I'm going to um, attach that. So just have a little piece. I think it's kind of cute. I don't know what else to do with these. Um, these were the Nara little round, six inch rounds. Um, if I don't mount it, I don't know what else to do with it. So let's, uh, all right. So now I'm going to carefully in the orientation, well, it doesn't matter because it's square, but I'm going to put this on my board. And you'll have time to move it around before you push it down. But it is exactly the same size. Now I'm just going to smooth this out carefully. Um, I'm gonna put a glove on just so if I have any oils on my hands and stuff like that. I should put them on again. I'm just gonna rub. This is why you have to seal it. resin well the alcohol inks can bleed into the resin so I'm just pushing it down to make sure I have a good seal and I do and so like I said I will put so this is the orientation I like it in Okay, um, but obviously the, the customer or whoever buys this piece can put it um, any way they want. Um, so, so this is going to rest for a day, probably. Let's see if I can get that off with a little alcohol. I don't, probably already sealed. So that's gonna be, let, let's see what happens. Um, I guess I missed that when I was cleaning it. There's just a little bit of alcohol ink up here. It's okay. It's good. All right. So I will um, just let this um, adhere to the board for a couple days probably. So I'll put it face down um, on like a, a towel or something that's soft and then maybe put like a book to push it down just so we make sure that it's totally um, sealed in there. So that's pretty much all you do right there. Um, I will follow up and show you the resin portion. It'll be in a couple days, but I'll just add it to this video, all right? All right, so um, stay tuned for the resin part of it. All right. All right, so these are done. It's been probably about, I don't know, five days. All right, so I have my level on my canvases and they are level on my table. Of course, I'm gonna pick this up now and show you, but I just wanna show you, I taped all my sides for any drips that go over the edge because I want to keep my sides um, 
natural, natural wood. So let me just make sure we are level. All right. So I mixed up about four and a half ounces of resin. Should be plenty because I'm just going over the top. Okay. And so these two, they're different, but they could actually go together, like same colors. Okay. So I mixed up my resin really well. Make sure you scrape the sides and your stick a couple times. But I've been mixing this, and this is KS resin. Um, I have a coupon code below. I think you can save 5% or something like that. Um, so check that out if you're interested in doing some resin. You know, at first resin can be a little intimidating, but after a while you just, it, to me, it, I like it. I mean, it's no harder than putting a top coat on it. All right, so I'm just going, oh gosh, what's that? Okay. Whew. I'm just going to pour some on this one, about half the amount, and I'll pour some on this one, about half the amount, leave a little bit in the cup, okay, and I'm going to torch the cup down and heat it up a little bit so we can move it, move it, move it around a little bit. So this is what I, I normally do. I just use my hand, so I double glove, put another glove over, just so it's easier to take off at the end. Okay, and I just use my hand to move it around. This is the way I do all my resin. So you're just going up to the corners Resin is self-leveling, so it will level out. Just push it to the ends. Look at the colors popping already. Sorry about the noise. There's people in my house today. Sport started again, so you know the boys are just so excited. Okay, Make sure we got it all to the ends. I'm not too worried about going over because I'm not on the sides. Okay. You kind of just want to run your finger so you're going to get a seal. Okay. And that's all there is to it. You just want to make sure you got everything nice. And I'll heat it again with my torch. Just 
just want to use up all the resin. Hate wasting it. So whenever I have leftover resin, I'll usually like put it into a mold. Like I did, I did some resin work earlier. And I have this like shell mold and I just put the rest of the resin in there. And I usually like those little things I'll make magnets out of or um, I'll just throw them in. Like if I have an order, an online order, I'll just throw them in as a little thank you gift. quickly torch it again oh my god this torch is driving me crazy said make sure that like, I see a little spot here that I, I don't know if I missed or it's just not yeah so we'll see if this needs need another coat because I may have we'll see all right so that's it um you have two beautiful alcohol and ink resin pieces here um I'm gonna cover this I have I made like a cover for my table when I have resin pieces on it just so there's no dust particles or little things getting in there because that drives me crazy um, um, but anyway these look pretty and I'll just hit them again a couple, a couple times um, just to make sure there's no bubbles and it's just a clear beautiful clear finish all right so that's it for this video um, I hope you enjoyed it if you have any questions, leave me a comment below and I will answer you as soon as I can. And uh, thanks for watching. And if you're um, not subscribed, please consider subscribing. All right. Bye-bye.